one and all. I'm currently in the Lake District in uh, a place called Dove Crag Priest Hole. Let's have a quick look around, show what it's like. It's uh, a cave inside of the mountain that's hidden. But um, if you know where the path is, then I'll do a video to show you where it is. You can get up here without too much problem. We had a right time trying to find the path initially, so I think it's probably worth giving you some directions. Which wasn't so misty, because we, we had a fantastic view at one point, and the clouds come down. Um, I thought this was a good opportunity to show you uh, a new way of filtering water that I've kind of put together. It's pretty convenient. Um, so what I've done is it kind of revolves around this, which is an Aquamira Frontier Pro water filter. Um, it only really filters... Uh, there, there are three types of bad things that you can get in water. Um, viruses, bacteria and protozoa are getting bigger each time. Um, and the protozoa are kind of uh, hard, big hard shelly things basically. I say big, they're not really big but they're bigger than the others. And they're difficult to kill with uh, chlorine tablets. So this will take them out. And what it is, is uh, consists of a, a pre-filter which is in here. Just let me unscrew this and show you. Almost just like cotton wool in there, and they give you replacements. Um, and then the water's pushed through there or sucked through there. And then there's this nozzle here. Um, this is something that I put on. It had like just a, a normal grey plastic nozzle. But um, to make the whole system easier, I've used these um, Osprey inline quick snap valves. So if you see here, I'm just going to push there and snap that out. And then this will snap straight in there, which makes it really, really easy to put things in and take them out. So the system is, I collect water in a dirty bag, which is this one. That's a um, platypus big zip, two litre. I've chosen this because I had one anyway, but the, uh, the top mechanism makes it really easy to pick water up. If you undo the zip, uh, undo the top bit, it's got just like a strong version of what's on the um, Ziploc bags that you can buy in supermarkets. And then obviously when you put that on, it pushes them together and keeps them together. So as you can imagine, it's really easy to kind of scoop water up with that or hold it under a, a bit of a stream and fill up water really, really quickly and easily. Something I didn't like about my old system, which was a, a pumping system, is you have to kind of squat quite uncomfortably by the side of a, a river or a puddle or whatever, and you have to be there for the whole time that you're collecting your water. So this is better because you can get your water really quickly, carry it with you um, to somewhere more comfortable, and then filter it. So if I put this back on, so imagine this is full of water. The first thing that I do is uh, platypus already have like um, a quick snap valve. It's very similar, it doesn't quite work with the um, the camelback ones. Ironically I've got platypus, camelback and osprey um, gear here all working together. Um, which is pretty lucky that uh, the tubes are the same size if you compare this. The clear one's the platypus tube and the, uh, the blue one's the osprey tube. So first thing I do is connect this up and then I really like this as well this feature it's kind of elasticated so you can take that off easily it keeps this bit clean because this is the clean end of the, uh, the tube and then take the bite valve off this bit and this is my clean bag 
Um, and having this quick snap thing on here is really, really useful as well. You get two different types of um, uh, the Plaspus um, quick snap valves. Make sure you get the inline one because it's got this switch on. So it's really easy if you want just like a lot of water to come out of here quickly and you don't want to um, kind of undo this and risk spilling it everywhere. Um, you can just kind of point this where it is, hold the bag up high and open the valve and it comes out like a, like a tap. So then that goes in there. Um, and you tablet the water when it's in this bag. Um, if you've got reasonably um, clear water without too many bits in and stuff, you use one tablet per litre. So, I mean, if you have a look at how many tablets are in here, you're not going to run out. <coughs> one of the problems with the, the filters, or the one that I had at least, um, was that sometimes they get clogged up, and if you've got five people um, and you're trying to filter water quite quickly, it just kind of slows down and it's a real pain. Um, luckily, this doesn't get clogged so quickly because it's uh, the actual mesh that it's being forced through is much thinner, kind of smaller. Uh, sorry, bigger, so it doesn't stop uh, stop so many small particles. Um, and obviously, you can just replace this bit. Whereas on on the uh, on the other one, you had to take the whole filter out, add like a a bit of cloth around the edge that you take out and wash that in clean water, give the thing a a whirl and put it back in, and it would be better for a very short period of time, and then it get worse again. So normally chlorine tab uh, tablets leave a bit of a bad taste in the mouth. Um, luckily, this thing here, like the core that the water's pushed through, um, it's got the filter bit, and then the core is, um, I think it was coconut carbon, and the uh, that will take the the taste of the chlorine tablets out on its way through, which I think is really neat. So I'm going to go down to the water and down to the river and collect some water and then show you how this works. Just going to collect some water to filter back up at the camp. Um, this is a stream that's kind of, it looks fairly clear but it's, it's not that high up in the mountains and you know it's probably worth filtering it anyway. Um, so just to prove how easy it is to collect water with one of these uh, Plaspus Big Zips. There we go, it's full. And now we don't have to kind of stem precariously on a slippery slope and go straight back to the camp and work our magic there. Just quickly going to demonstrate how useful this in inline valve is. Um, if I wasn't holding the camera, this would be a one man operation, but I've got Sarah holding it for me. <laughs> so I hold it up nice and high, and then just open the valve, you get a nice Tap like stream of water come out. see how useful that is. This is that water that I gathered from the stream earlier. It's two litres and it's relatively clear. So we're going to pop in uh, two of these tiny little chlorine tabs. And you leave this for at least 10 minutes it says but you know, it might be a little bit longer than that. Right. Just give it a shake and then, uh, and then it's now been 10 minutes and there's no sign of the uh, any kind of bits of tablet in here. I think it's all fully dissolved and I've given it a shake. So now I'm going to connect it back up and try and filter some water. So as before, the first thing to go in is the quick snap valve attached to the filter itself. And then this connects here. 
Mm. This is off at the moment, which is perfect. Just gonna hold this one up and give it a squeeze. And the uh, the bag that you're filling should be as far down as you can, so you get more pressure to it. Right. Open the valve. Start squeezing. I don't know if you can see that going in. It filters relatively quickly once this um this grey Aquamira Frontier Pro filter unit has um no air in it. Initially, you kind of have to force the air bubbles out by giving the giving this bag a squeeze. And then um once it's all water it goes through relatively quickly because it's not filtering very small particles out, it's just the, uh, the protozoa. So I'll time this and then uh, I'll put the, the time to filter 2 litres on the video. This is finished now, I've been rolling this down to keep the pressure on it and holding it up as well and it's taken about kind of 3 minutes to do 2 litres of water which is pretty good. Um, so now just turn the valve again, press this uh, quick release and take that unit off. One thing I'd note as well is that there's absolutely uh, no taste of chlorine that I can, I can tell in this water at all. So the, um, the carbon filter in the Aquamira has obviously tasted, uh, taken that bad taste out, which is brilliant. It's normally, and that's something that really puts me off about these chlorine tablets.